Boy, oh boy, do I have a treat for you today. We have my personal favorite dentist in the entire world, Dr. David Barson, and we are gonna share little secrets on how you can look better and better and better. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, welcome to our show. When you go to the grocery store, you see those books, The Secrets Of, The Secrets Of, The Secrets Of. Our show today is The Secrets Of Whitening. Why are Americans whitening their teeth? How do you do it and how will you benefit? You know those mercury amalgam fillings that are in your mouth? You might want to get them out of there and you'll be learning a little bit about why. And we're also going to be talking a little bit about something called an extreme makeover. And this isn't one of those shows that's called Makeover, but we'll be talking about that. But at this time, I want to welcome our most esteemed guest, Dr. David Barson, my personal favorite dentist in the entire world. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, David, for having me on. I really appreciate you uh, allowing me the opportunity to share about my passion of dentistry and helping people. Thank Great. You. Okay. Now, I wasn't kidding about this whitening thing. All kinds of people from around the country are interested in whitening their teeth. And then I see these ads on TV where people put what looks to be a Band-Aid on their tooth to whiten their teeth. Let's talk a little bit about whitening, and then we're going to get into your personal background a little bit. But let's start off with the whitening since it's one of my favorite topics. Well, there's no question about it. Whitening is very hot right now. I mean, everyone is doing it from teenagers all the way up to uh, men and women in their 70s and 80s. I've talked with some folks in their 80s and 90s. They were very excited about whitening and they wanted to make it clear that it's for them, not just for people that are young. So that was an important point. Yeah. How does whitening work? Well, it works. Most of the whitening is peroxide based. A lot of the old techniques and the old verbiage was bleaching, but it's not really bleaching. It's actually peroxide based. So the peroxide penetrates enamel, lightens the inner structure of the tooth oxidizes it and that's how it becomes light. The inner structure of the tooth varies from person to person like skin color and eye color and uh, almost everybody's enamel is for the most part the same color. It's a translucent milky uh, color so that's how it works and there's different applications from over-the-counter methods to tray methods to the in-office uh, methods. I've seen some pictures of people's teeth and I've even seen some teeth I'd have to say that they're very discolored. Some people's teeth will be bluish brown and other right. people will be brown and how are the ways that teeth change color over the years? Well aging by itself will your teeth will gradually darken as you get older uh, because the inner core of the tooth is more dense and it doesn't reflect light. Does the process of whitening teeth in and of itself do any damage of any kind to teeth? You know that is one of the most common questions and it's a great question because we are worried about it. We don't want to you know, put ourselves at risk for cosmetic reasons. You know, that is a very valid concern of most people. And as far as this, there's been many, many studies. My goodness, we've been whitening probably 15, almost 20 years now. Um, I lose track of time, but it's been a long time, a lot of studies, and there haven't been any studies uh, to date that have shown it to be detrimental to the health of the teeth. However, I will say that one of the most common, I'm gonna say side effects to whitening is sensitive teeth. And I'll tell you, I have caution all my patients that are whitening. This is the most common factor. So there's a way in which you can do it to minimize the sensitivity. But to a high degree of uh, probability, people will have sensitive either teeth or gums. Okay, let, let's, let's define sensitivity. When you okay. use that word, what do you mean? Well, it's either when we're doing the in-office whitening for about the next 24, 48 hours, people would just get these sharp zings of pain. And they'll also be sensitive maybe to temperature. But really, when I'm talking about the tray or in off, or excuse me, at home whitening or over the counter whitening, it's mostly just sensitive to cold or the gums are sensitive to brushing. Now this is a passing phase, right? The sensitivity might last a day, a week, two weeks, that's it. Uh, that's correct, that's correct. Okay, now when you go to the store and you wanna buy a shirt or for women, a blouse, there's different colors. The white, the off-white, the ivory. And when it comes to what you do with your tooth whitening, it's just like the shirts. You can pick the shade of white you want to move towards. Yes. It really depends on the values and the uh, objectives of the individual. And that's where I think, as a dentist, I can help guide people better uh, to try to, you know, 
uh, clarify exactly what they want and then determine then the best method for them to go. Some people, they want to go from uh, 15 shades lighter. Some people just want to go a few shades lighter. And that would really determine what would be the best approach for the individual. True that when you whiten your teeth, you're going to look younger. Well, I think that's without question. People definitely look younger with uh, lighter color teeth. Or conversely, they look older with darker color teeth. What are the methods that exist by which you can whiten your teeth? Okay. Um, I look, like to start off with the um, over-the-counter. Well, maybe even before that, uh, there's many different toothpaste that claim to be whitening. Um, I can just say from my own personal experience and those of my patients that I have not really noticed or witnessed a uh, really increase of whitening just by using the toothpaste or mouthwashes or rinses. But there are some over-the-counter product, over products that work very, very well. Uh, there's sometimes little strips and little trays that you can buy to do it. And uh, they're just not uh, custom fit to the individual, but they do work. And so that will whiten. It depends how diligent in, uh, uh, a person is in using them as far as keeping the teeth isolated and dry while they're using them. You know, they will work. Most okay. of the, they will work most of the time. So don't count on the whitening toothpaste to whiten your teeth. Might do a very nice job of cleaning your teeth. Yes, and it does. And they like feel the way, white. I don't know something And like they that. feel better. Your breath feels fresher <laughs> by using it. Uh, but again, my experience is that it's not real helpful. Okay. And so there's the over-the-counter products, and then there's the in-office ones, which are either trays or uh, there's a little light, like a laser light that we put over the, over the mouth, and we apply the gel, and it whitens them that way in about an hour. For more Medical Matters television shows, go online to medicalmatters.tv.